the Stewards Channel. And how we always kick off the Stewards Weekly is to do a check, a temperature check-in. How are you doing? Temperature check on the community. How's the community doing? And to share anything that uh, you think is important or you just want to get off your chest <laughs> with the other stewards. So uh, maybe I'll pass to Neat to kick us off, please. Ooh, okay. Um, temperature check. So, you know, uh, a lot of things going on this week. Some mistakes were made uh, that I was a part of as well. And uh, something that proves to be a mo moment of reflection, um, you know, uh, but all we can do is improve and uh, kind of just talk things out and make sure that everybody's feeling comfortable within this space. Um, speaking specifically towards the Durgada situation as well. Um, and so, yeah, I just, you know, it's unfortunate, but th these these kind of uh, growing pains are, are bound to happen. And it's good that we, you know, have, have such a great community that can, can navigate this well. So uh, really appreciative of everybody who's participating in that. Um, outside of that, uh, a lot of energy around uh, what we're, our mission actually for the first time in a long time. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but yeah, and I'll pass it over to uh, Livy. Thanks. Um, temperature check. I think there's like, many many stoves on with different temperatures <laughs> i think um yeah it's been especially for me i don't know a, a week of dealing with a, a lot of conflict in many ways and in going to the gitcoin conflict uh, call and and meeting other people who are facing similar things and just reflecting a lot on that and on power structures and having people uh, reaching out to talk about that and and also trying to open space for these conversations. So maybe I could, um, if there is time, I could expand a little bit on this topic on the agenda to create a forum for us to have this reflection in the community and yeah, and I was really happy to jump in the, the last 10 minutes of the orientation call. It's so cool to see so many people with fresh questions and super curious about everything. So I, yeah, I I think I love so much what we do and, and who we are that I, like, sometimes it hurts to see when things don't go perfect, but I think it's also uh, a part of it. And I'll pass to Chewy. Uh, thank you, Libby. A um, lot of lessons learned. Um, I think it's uh, uh, right now. I'm. I'm uh, I, I've been thinking constantly about uh, how to bring the temperature down a little bit so that we can. Uh, rethink uh, some of uh, our purposes, like uh, how do we want to align responsibly um, for uh, keep moving forward. Um, and yeah, just a, a lot of uh, reflections uh, around that. Um, and as I was saying, I feel that um, uh, at least on our side, because of um, situation that, that happened, uh, we need to bring uh, the temperature down in different uh, levels um, to be able to uh, reflect on this like the the, the proper way. So I would say like uh, warm, but uh, still coming down. <laughs> um, I'll pass it to Septi. I don't know if you went already. Thanks, Sui. Yeah, I have many things. One is like, I would love like if you guys check out the Dune Analytics and share feedback. Uh, I feel it's important like if, yeah, if you can, sh like actually like, this is what we are going to use to monitor our commons. So anything like we can add, especially like, or uh, it'd be nice. Uh, I want to say one more thing, but I'm not remember. So I don't want to take more, more time. I'll pass it to uh, Gustavo. 
Thank you. Uh, so uh, this week I began doing some extra translations and uh, still continue learning the process. I've been involved more in the forums also, reading a lot of stuff. And um, I, I don't know, I was surprised a little bit this week because I, I, I've noticed a lot of stress on the different people participating in different calls or stress or anxiety. And that's something I hadn't seen before in the community. Um, and I've also seen like a little bit more like focus on like, like structure and legal things uh, going on, uh, which is also new to me, but you know, interesting to see. And, and, and if I can help in any way, also like just uh, I'll, I'm here available to listen at least and, and help in a way I can. Um, so yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll pass it on to uh, Mert. Uh, so from my side, I agree that I kind of feel some sort of tension in the TC for the first time in my journey. So I can say that for my personal uh, involvement with TC, uh, I wrote an abstract for uh, for an article about TC. I would like to share you guys on Stewart's chat after this call. Please take a look mm -hmm. at this. It's kind of complementary article to Griff and Tamara's article, kind of history of uh, public management and how it's failed and how could uh, governing commons can change it kind of thing. It's kind of interesting. So from my side, that's it. And also shout out to Chewy. Thanks for the uh, proposal inverter proposal. It was awesome. Like I shared with the Prime mm -hmm. guys. Uh, I want to, to pass to Edo. Um, thank you. And yeah, I mean, I feel that in general, the, in the web trade space, there was a lot of conflict this week. Um, and there was a lot of like sort of negative vibes trying to um, sort of get in our heads. And this is the moment where I feel we either step up our game and improve the way we deal with things or um, organizations sometimes fail. And my sentence to shake in general is that we are uh, in a very um, like intersectional moment where we can pick up momentum and sort of, you know, learn from experiences and learn from situations that has happened, or we can get stuck a week or two weeks overthinking things. And, um, you know, it's one approach or the other one. And besides that, like Libby mentioned, uh, orientation call for me, it's, I mean, it's an, an unavoidable a hype <laughs> because the amount of energy of, uh, with the people that brings over the table and the excitement of someone new. Um, so if any of you were feeling down or feeling negative, please join our orientation call. It will hype your day and will motivate you. That's my recipe for you. That makes sense? I don't know, but I will pass it on to my wife. Thanks, Edu. Uh, yeah, temperature check. There were um, uh, serious things happening this week, I guess, more serious than usual. And uh, just navigating through them. Uh, um, issues with the cultural bill as well. Uh, just some things to work on. Uh, yeah, other than that, I, I guess the temperature check is I'm, I'm working on what I saw arose a, a this week working on solutions. Um, but yeah, other than that, trying to, to work and do some progress on the issues that I'm uh, responsible for. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I don't know who has gone or who hasn't, so. Uh, no problem. I'll, I'll pass it to Dergadas. OK, yeah, thanks. Yeah, well, my temperature check is um, better than yesterday by a lot. Um, yeah, so I know that uh, some of that, uh, you know, came from me for sure. Um, and yeah, I do hope we, uh, you know, proactively, you know, transform that stuff. And I'm trying to do that. I just had a long conversation at Gravity about doing those things. So, you know, um, there's some... Uh, stuff to talk about for sure but uh yeah plus i've got quite a lot going on in my personal life uh which kind of had an impact on that situation as well so yeah anyway uh 
that's uh, it for me. I'm not sure who's going next. I can pass it to Juanca. Um, yeah, I would like to um, make an oponopono. And I would say first, I'm sorry um, for all the mistakes that um, I've done and um, we all make. Um, that um, I forgive myself um, for the things and the feelings that um, um, I perceive um, as negative and sometimes the the um, the the judgment that we have from other people I forgive myself and I forgive all of you and I would say also that uh, thank you all for being here and that I love you all and um, the love um, for me is expressed as uh, the deepness of the experience and that each interaction that I have with all of you is very deep and it's not uh, shallow in any way and that um, I am trying to connect um, with uh, the, the human and the individual that you all, all are. So that's my check-in. That was beautiful. Um, so we have uh, a few more people who haven't gone and uh, they're new to the stewards. So if you want to take about a minute and share, if you want to uh, give a personal check-in about yourself or something that you like to express about the community, I'll pass to uh, NT. Hey guys. Um, well, I, I guess I don't have much to say. I'm pretty new to, to the tech. Um, I guess, uh, as, many, as many of you have said, this has been a pretty weird week for Web3 overall. And I think it's important to to have in mind and to notice that there's always people behind the screens. And, and, and a lot of the stuff that happens, particularly the bad stuff that happens, is, isn't usually as bad as it sounds at first. So before making any decision, it's better to take care of it and cool down. I guess that's everything I can say for now. Thanks for sharing that, NT. And uh, Kyle, would you like to share? Yeah, sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Kyle. I'm also pretty new, um, so I don't have a ton to contribute. But um, I will say, uh, without like knowing any context or anything, I, it seems like there was a conflict. Um, but what I've noticed that I haven't seen in a few other communities that I've been a part of is that it's uh, inspired a conversation, um, which is kind of the most important part, in my opinion. Um, so I think just generally, it's given me a lot of confidence and excitement further um, in the tech community because of kind of like how these conflicts get resolved and how interpersonal issues are, are handled. Um, so yeah, just generally excited to be here. Cool, thanks. And then I guess I'm the last one to go before we move on to the next agenda item. Uh, did I miss anyone? I think not. Okay, let me know if I did. Um, I would say, first of all, Juanca for that honopono, thank you. Uh, if there's any link you can share in the general channel or in the stewards channel uh, that references um, the knowledge that you shared about that, I don't remember if we have something, uh, but it would be great actually for a reminder for everyone in our community now. Uh, and then I want to say, um, okay, so that orientation call, man, like it makes you feel so good. Um, and it is just like, oh yes, this is what we're here for. We are here to advance token engineering and we have all these people who want to contribute and want to help and want to join that journey with us. So that's super cool. And then I want to say um, about uh, people who've mentioned they've felt like mistakes have been made and they're feeling maybe um, heavy about it. Uh, there's a saying I like. I always have a saying. Uh, the person who doesn't make mistakes is unlikely to make anything. And I think uh, that's really something to consider. Like we all make mistakes. We act with class, integrity, and grace and, uh, you know, correct uh, anybody we've hurt and then learn from the mistake that we've made. But uh, if you're not making mistakes, you're probably doing something wrong. <laughs> they're they're going to happen because they're part of um, a growing experience. 
And then I want to say with conflicts and tension, yeah, it's it's rare for there to be, uh, well, it's not rare. Um, it's a, it is kind of rare for there to be tension in the TEC. And I think it's actually super healthy that we lean into it instead of trying to hide from tension, actually. So I think uh, I think what you, Kyle, mentioned, um, it's, uh, it's interesting to see the community addressing it so straight on. And then I want to say one thing. I don't know if everyone else feels this way, but like, I just feel like in every like macro to uh, to to minor like the everywhere in my life there's got a, a lot of conflict you know in my family moment like my family was very difficult today my family situation was incredibly difficult today and then you know in the TEC there's these little conflicts in places but then like okay then there's Web three there's these conflicts and then like global you know there's like Russian troops and Americans sending troops to the Ukraine and the COVID crazy. I mean, just like, I just feel like you can't really look anywhere anymore without seeing tension everywhere. And I feel like we're all wound up so tight right now and like finding ways to unwind. Uh, and for me, it's this community. <laughs> this is where I can really feel like I can unwind and talk frankly and, and be with other people who uh, are hoping to, you know, with all of this around us, just keep plowing forward. Um, to, to what we hope to achieve. And I see Livia, you've joined and we're just doing the uh, the check-ins if you'd like to share. Oh, I, I did my check-in already. Oh. oh yeah, sorry, I'm so sorry, you did. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, so we'll move to the next item on the agenda and it is um, uh, the request from uh, Communitas and specifically Eduardo, who hosts the orientation call with such charisma to have more stewards join the orientation call. So this is just going to be the reminder. He uh, very smartly sent a reminder before the call, which happens just before this, <laughs> instead of the stewards call when it happens after. And then I wanted to just share um, votes on garden. I'm adding this as a weekly check-in point because there are things like this that come up. Um, of course, there is still the Communitas funding. There is still the Gravity funding. Um, and then there is also uh, the uh, changing the fee structure. So the idea with the Goldilocks proposal was a step change of the fees to have the um, exit tribute go up and the entry tribute go down. So I just want to sort of make some time in this call to highlight uh, what's going on in our in our voting in gardens. Um, so if this is something that you support, uh, changing the entry and exit tribute, please do uh, put some votes behind it, as well as Gravity and Communitas. Um, the Stewards Working Group proposal funding passed. Yay! Can, can I say something about the, the garden? Actually, what I was missing on the temperature check, I remember now. Uh, for, yeah. some, for some reason, the gardens in Brave is not working. It's working on Mozilla for me, but in Brave, it's not working. Just I wanted to throw it there. Thanks for sharing that. I switch between, I'm trying to move from Chrome to Brave, <laughs> but uh, it, it is working on Chrome because I just switched some votes to, I mean, I just uh, voted on this uh, right before this call, actually. Yeah. Thanks it, for sharing. It's working on Mozilla too. Maybe it's just Brave. Just, just a quick note there. Um, it works for me on, on Brave. If you can later hop in the OneHive uh, server, uh, we can see what happens there. Thanks, Antti. Uh, and along with the funding proposal, so the uh, distribution mm. for compensation will, will happen um, in the first week of March. So uh, just a reminder to anyone that hasn't published their uh, statement of commitment to being a steward to please do so. Um, I'm probably not gonna chase people. <laughs> uh, so it'd be great if, if you could do it. Uh, but it looks like most of us have, there's just a few, a few people that have it. Uh, upcoming presentations. I'm gonna glo I'm gonna go through this quickly. Nate is presenting um, at the, the Token Engineering Academy, Token Engineering Commons Intro to Token Engineering on the 16th. Uh, Eduardo is doing March 9th. Uh, we're still gonna need people for April and May, so uh, you can hop into the issue that's open for this and throw your hat in the ring, throw your name in the hat. I forget the the way that's said. I think throw your name in the hat. 
Um, and then Nate, uh, unless anybody else is interested in, in presenting at Popcorn, will do the um, the Popcorn community call on the 16th before the introduction to token engineering. Nate has also graciously accepted covering all of the stewards working groups during the two weeks of ETH Denver, where I will have limited to no availability. Uh, so the weekly retro community call updates, sprint planning, weekly council and community call updates. And I just want to say huge, huge, huge praise to Nate for taking that on. Uh, really appreciate it. Okay, so we're, we're getting through this very quick. <laughs> Mert, uh, would you be interested in giving an update about the proposal inverter? Yes, for sure. Uh, a moment, please. So uh, the, from the product development side, everything is going good. Like, I think we are kind of moving forward with the minimum viable product. So that's thumbs up. For TC's involvement, it's also doing going very good. Thank you so much for Chewy. Like Mitch sent me the document. Uh, I, I I showed in the Prime peeps. They liked it, and I will I will like transfer the message when they uh, come up with agreement, etc. Like any comments on that. So I will show it as well. But I I just had chance to show them. But what the, is the proposal? Can I just ask what the proposal is? Uh, it's like a. Uh, uh, Comms working groups involvement in uh, proposal inverter. So, as we discussed, TC will be involved more into ecosystem side. So, uh, me and Mitch uh, decided to help, want to help from Comms in terms of uh, social media management and writing, etc. So they prepared this. Uh, I, I can share it to Stewart's chat as well. Okay, so. From proposing virtual site, I think that's it. Cool, thanks. Um, and then Communitas. So this is Communitas. So um, Deep Skills, which is a sister initiative of Deep Work, um, was uh, well. So first, I'm very interested in adopting praise for Deep Skills to complement the skill matching that they're doing um, or a system that they're building. And um, Eduardo and I met with Andre and Kishore around uh, possibly them providing a service for the uh, TEC uh, around um, building, uh, I didn't drop a link in here, I apologize, but it would be something like um, helping to build out, oh, I think I can find it here, actually, if we go to Prime DAO. Um, let's see, uh, let's see if we can go, I don't want to take too much time doing this, but they've worked with Prime Dow in doing skill matching for, um, let's see if it's here, no, ah, raiders, no, become a raider. Uh, so they developed this sort of like roles that are within the organization and a way for us to basically um, make these um, very uh, standardized um, with, uh, in, with a particular format in order for people that come into the TEC that to then search for the roles that they want to match with. But this is sort of the small picture. The bigger picture is that they are building and I only have the figmas of this, but they are building an entire platform for all DAOs to use, where uh, people would be able to come and match their skills with particular pieces of work that um, are needed by different DAOs. So it would actually be uh, a, a product that would be available to all DAOs. And um, I think it would be interesting for us. We had one conversation, so uh, we haven't really moved forward with any decision yet, but Communitas is looking at potentially trial, trialing this out with the Communitas working group and uh, building this documentation for that working group. And then if it's something that the stewards like and other working group likes, then to expand it to other working groups as well. I just wanted to, to sort of put that on, uh, on the radar of everyone in the stewards working group. And this is sort of something that it would look like. It'd be the working group and then the different roles um, and details about the roles. Uh, we'll come back with more information when we have more information as well. Okay. Um, can I? Absolutely. 
yeah, since we're in communitas, uh, this is something I forgot to add to the agenda, uh, but it's very quickly, and it's basically the request from Santi to send our real life uh, NFT kind of to the 10 top hatchers. Um, so there is this, uh, just open the uh, briefly to ask, how do we proceed with this? I suggested that we could um, contrast the contract addresses from the the airdrop of these 10 addresses uh, with the ones that are on the hotspot and uh, send them an email through hotspot with a form asking if they want to, pro to provide their real life address for them to be sent this NFT. But I don't know if this, uh, if someone disagree with this option or wants to provide another option for uh, sending this to the top 10 hatchers. Interesting question. I'm assuming we know who all of them who all of them are. I would propose we do a direct outreach to them. We probably have their names and their telegrams and or Discord, and maybe uh, one person would reach out to them directly, asking that like letting sharing the um, the proposal that passed and the forum post, and letting them know that we'd like to send it to them if they'd like to provide their address. All right. Yeah, that's good for me too. Are, are you taking that on, Edward, Eduardo? Yep. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And then uh, I, yeah, I don't imagine it would be difficult to get in touch with any of the top hatchers, actually. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> cool, thanks for taking that on. Um, and then, uh, Livia, do you want to uh, take some time now? God, we got through this so fast. We're only 30 minutes in. Livia, do you want to share your thinking about um, what you shared at your check-in? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking what is the best way to talk about power structures and decentralization and um, how are people feeling, how people feel like they can express. And I think this is a big part of our culture. And there was some expressions of like, oh, maybe the stewards are um, too powerful somehow, or maybe the structures that we designed um, are not allowing people to have agency. Like, what is the... What, what is the type of check-in we need to have and, and how? And considering the power, it's always some, a, a sensitive subject that people might not feel comfortable to share in the open. Um, making this anonymous form and um, having advice process with and to have her anthropological perspective and and then I'll share this as soon as I have it ready. It's been a little bit difficult to think of the best questions. So I'm thinking like, what, yeah, what are the best questions to have the most uh, meaningful and objective output? I'm trying to make more like multiple choice questions so we can look at a graph in the end, but we'll also put some descriptive ones in. If anyone has something to share about that, if you want to write to me or um, can I just say yeah, something? or wait until you can share it, it um, anonymously. But feel free to write to me if you have ideas of questions that should be in this form. Thanks, Livia. Uh, is it me that froze? <laughs> Shoot. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, you're welcome. Uh, Dergadas, I, I heard you wanted to uh, add something. Please do. Yeah, I was just... Um, the things I was talking about uh, in the SoftGov call basically uh, fall down into kind of a simple phrase. You, you can't talk your way out of what you behave your way into. So what I was essentially referring to was that um, uh, if we have structural issues, uh, talking about how people feel by about the the problems with the structural issues 
certainly one thing that needs to happen, but that doesn't actually solve the underlying problem, you know, of of the structural problems that I was kind of referring to. I've got a ton of examples, um, but I just wanted to give a, sort of a general flavor of that. Certainly, we should talk about <laughs> problems uh, that we've behaved our way into, but we should also change the behavior. And so that was functionally uh, what I was trying to suggest, um, you know, based on my experience and what I've been observing recently. So um, I'm happy to talk about that offline. Thanks. Yeah, my, my proposal talking to Anne about how was the best way we could do this was to have this form and then have an open call to discuss all of the answers and how we can propose solutions for, uh, for the things that are pointed out of the survey or like how can we look into them. But yeah, the idea is to open, open a dialogue for but how to move on based on the data. Cool. Uh, I really like this idea, actually. I like that uh, soliciting feedback from the wider community as well. I'd like to actually, I think it'll be very interesting to hear uh, a lot of this feedback. And um, maybe, you know, maybe in some ways very, um, you know, feel very good about it in some ways feel uh, uncomfortable and aware of things that uh, we might want to do to improve. Cool. And Zep, do you want to, uh, should we, any, anyone else want to speak about this or this idea of uh, creating this form for the community to provide feedback and Anne as an uh, anthropologist to help provide uh, her perspective? So, I have the question. So the form is to tackle the power structural centralization. Can I, can, like, do you have an idea of what the form will include? Sorry if I didn't pay enough attention to what you were explaining, Lily. Yeah, I'm taking, taking suggestions. If you have any, feel free to write to me. Right, I think, yeah, sorry, Tim. Um, I think that what you got mentioned, it's, um, should be like, it's, to be considered on the sense of um, there should be an active effort from our side to acknowledge these power structures and the form I feel should be like really be put up front to the community and explain through if we want to make a full exercise of awareness and uh, governance I feel we should like make an effort to just uh, educate at the same way we are asking for advice on this um, and mainly because as what I took from Durga as what he mentioned is the idea that we sometimes are in these structures with unaware of it and whatever we do we will still fall under the umbrella of these power structures. So um, I feel that the only way we could sort of deconstruct ourselves in that sense is by going back to the community and by educating at the same time we are doing that. Um, and the form I think uh, should have very basic questions about governance and to seek uh, what people, uh, how they perceive us first and and then so on, like um, just also seek for collective intelligence. Do you have any any other model of governance that you have seen it worked in other DAOs, um, methods, like, you know, just a kind of approach. That's my two cents on that. Yeah, and one uh, of the implications of what I was saying was that if you, um, uh, if when I say you can't talk your way out of what you behave your way into, one of the things is if you behave in your way into something long enough, you will stop hearing people talk to you about it, and they'll either just turn away, or they'll be silent, or they'll be uh, bystanders, or you know these other kinds of behaviors all begin occurring uh, once your behavior is sort of cumulatively set in a certain kind of vernacular. It's hard for people who think differently about that to plug into that. So um, my suggestion is whatever we can do to make it so that we get out of that uh, dynamic, uh, we do that. OK. Um, Olivia, will this be something that's shared on Discord or the forum for advice process before it is sh uh, like published or the final version is available? 
I think it makes more sense to be like a smaller advice process just to have this going out quick and not like stay in the for I mean the I think the survey itself it's already a way for people to express their opinions and and share anything they want to share and I'll I'll just make sure that the questions are like the are comp the most comprehensive possible and if anyone wants to be included in a more like if anyone wants to work with me on this um let me know and then we can like uh, design this together i will love I, you. i was just gonna say i'd also like to um but i'm also a little hesitant to take on uh more than i can so maybe um, yeah, me too. if you could share the doc, I know that I could definitely read it and provide feedback. Sounds good. And I heard Eduardo, you said you want to as well. I heard somebody else. Yes, Dilgaras also mentioned it. Dilgaras as well. Yeah, that's okay. Me. okay, cool, thanks. I would also love to, to be part of that. Who was that? Uh, Kyle. Kyle, cool. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Hey, Zep, you want to do a little tune analytics? Um, hey. Share uh, what you need help with? Yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, let me share my the board. Sure. Uh, and yeah, I mean, actually, like, what I would like is, like, if you guys could take, you know, uh, asynchronously like an hour, half an hour at least and see like all the analytics and you know provide like what put also you like to see in this dashboard mm -hmm. right now we, we're missing a, a chart for the tributes like we want to have a chart where we see uh, all the tributes uh, weekly uh, but yeah basically actually like uh, on, on the top you can put an start, de start date and end date because you know when you look at the graph uh, because of the launch, like, you know, all the data looks very small. Uh, and actually, like, this is three-month uh, chart, then, I mean, you can also uh, remove days uh, and make it, uh, you know, shorter. Uh, and, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know, like, for example, like, we have here, like, the holders, uh, the cumulative percentage, uh, a pie, uh, then we have here, like for the multi six, uh, we, we see here like all the transactions, and then you can just put laser tag, and then you only see laser tag transactions. Uh, but yeah, basically, like I, I would like, like if the stores uh, and anyone if could check it out, and yeah, and share anything like we we might be missing, or yeah, especially that if we're missing something. That's a moment to include it. Like we have uh, TH working on on this, and anything we ask from him, he's he just pull the data and put it. So yeah, that's it. So Zepti, the last time I looked at that, um, I believe it was it only had the TECH token, or it may even had the Impact Hour token in Dune Analytics. But I'm not sure if is there any way to like remove that from the associated like keyword search of the token engineering comments all, all these data is tc they have nothing to do with tch but I, yeah like all these transactions are tc like from the one like this is one swap and this is uh, the bonding curve and actually actually we are taking all the we're taking all the contracts from here like the, from the gardens uh oh well it's not working now this but yeah actually like if you go on, oh here on settings yeah i need to connect my my wallet so it's not showing now but I, I think the point is that it is only it is exclusively tec now so if you haven't seen it for a while and you go back it's no longer uh, any other token but tec yeah and then on the multi six we're you know tracing uh, all the rc 20s like like for example, laser tag have some uh, rapid ETH. Then the multi six, mostly of the like trans towards and transparency, have rapid XDAI, 
but yeah, we're actually tracing all, all, all the tokens, not, not the NFTs. Like Lizard, that have some NFTs, but uh, that, you know, that would add uh, much complexity. And yeah, like we're, we're not tracing NFTs, at least for now. Is, is that dashboard open or is like the link available? Like, yeah, because I've been tracking, I've been tracking the TC on CoinGecko, but this looks much nicer and much more info in it. So <laughs> yeah, just like looking at data. Let me drop uh, this link on the Stuart chat. And if Thank you, you, yeah, if you have, you know, if you, when you're analyzing the TC, you see, oh, I wish I knew that. Just let me know so we can add it. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Hey, Zeb, I don't know if you have done this. I don't think so. But maybe it's worth being like on the forum saying this is our beta version of Dune. We're welcoming feedback, you know, like if anyone wants to share anything that they want to see here, now is a great time to do it. Yeah. I mean, the thing is like we, we're using this week for uh, feedback. The next, because, you know, actually like I'm paying to someone. So mm -hmm. it's actually for three okay. weeks. So it's this week for feedback, next week for implementing. So maybe it's late for that. But I know like... Yeah, yeah, we still have two days left. Three days if you can, Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can until Sunday. Uh, yeah, I mean, the best thing is, like, you know, anyone can uh, add GitHub issues and tag me, assign it to me, then I'll just give it to GH or DM me or like the best way you think it's to share feedback. Uh, yeah. What is, what is the dashboard built on? Like what, what technology are you using? SQL and the, the language. SQL and, yeah. Yeah. And the, the front end. I mean, I have no idea about that. Okay. Okay. I, know I, I think Dune is the platform that does it, right? Okay. Yeah. Maybe I can help on that also. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that I mean that'd be cool. But actually, like GH, yeah, yeah. GH is yeah, is taking like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean of course, like if you want uh, to contribute there, I can share the credentials and yeah, and do it. Cool. You can Thanks. just want a real quick comment. If you click on, if you go down Zepti, you click on one of these things, you can actually see the query itself. So it's really easy. Like uh, click on the header of TEC price. Um, down to the left, uh, really any any box that's pulling data on the title at the top left of a box. Um. Here, here, I'll show you. I got, I got it here. So, um, okay. uh, I'm also sharing it right now. Oh, nice. Did you find it, Tam? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? So. Uh, yeah, exactly. So you can actually see the query for every box. So you can just copy and paste this and then hack around with it. Very cool. cool. This looks really great, Zep. Yeah, this is a huge asset. Thank you, Zepti. It's awesome. <laughs> thank, thank you, guys. Cool. Uh, so I want to share our retrospective action was let's work on a narrative and brand storytelling. And I do not believe we've been successful in, uh, in that, the sprint and even making inroads, but am I wrong? <laughs> uh, have we, I know that Durgadas, you did uh, offer to volunteer to do sort of um, deconstruction and uh, construction of uh, narrative for uh, storytelling for the TEC. Although I don't know that we were able to plan it into the sprint because mm -hmm. of, all of the preparations and the time that some of us will yep. be away for. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in a hurry about it. I just thought it would be helpful. Cool. I was wondering if it's something that we could plan for maybe, um, you know, the second or third week of March, if that's something that the stewards think would be worthwhile to engage in. We can, uh, I think this early, we could probably find, I don't know how much time you think would be necessary for that, but a, a big block of window for as many stewards and active community members as we need to try to uh, to take a crack at that, to begin well, that what process. I'd, what I'd sort of hope to do is to um, uh, work with other folks who might be um, sort of in the narrative construction side of the thing, in particular Livy, but I'm also aware mm -hmm. that currently we have some resolving of things to deal with <laughs> right now. So I'm going to forego any of that until those things are um, uh, resolved. So um, 
So can we just maybe talk to me in a month and <laughs> let's get to it then? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I, I agree. I also think that makes sense. But um, anyone else want to share uh, about uh, narrative and storytelling? I, I personally don't feel like it's something we could take on right away, but uh, I want to share if other people have some different thinking or things that they've been thinking about on ways to progress as well. I really like some job that Jessica was doing and she was, you know, having a mirror board and then everyone was putting her inputs and then he was, she, she was using this for inspiration. So, you know, it integrates like how we see the TC from all the angles. So I think that was cool. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. So maybe we say, um, we are thinking about it this sprint, but there's not actions that we can actually concretely take. Uh, and mid-March is probably a more realistic time frame for when we can uh, pick this up again. Uh, we are at the, almost the end of our agenda, but maybe it's a good time to go around and do working group updates. Uh, and I think that there's a number of working groups that have quite a lot to share. Uh, Chewy, I don't want to put you on the spot in any way, but if you do have updates that you'd like to share for the comms working group, you have so many different streams going, uh, maybe uh, I'd, I'd like to ask if you wouldn't mind sharing some comms updates. Um, just uh, the, the most recent update was uh, a call this morning with uh, the T Academy team. Um, we're putting something uh, together for uh, promoting the T fundamentals uh, course, uh, but uh, some ideas like popped up for uh, covering uh, some of what's gonna uh, be happening in, in Denver. Uh, so uh, they are basically like contributing to uh, some of uh, the planning that we're gonna have uh, on covering uh, ETH Denver next week. Um, so yeah, I think that's uh, uh, oh, and 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 the proposal in better uh, uh, proposal for uh, communications uh, is actually something that uh, I'm talking to uh, Gustavo about uh, since uh, I think he would be uh, very interested in in, in contributing with that. Uh, but we're still seeing uh, like uh, some other plans and improvements that we can uh, implement to the proposal. So. Um, yeah, I think those are like the relevant updates for uh, this week so far. Uh, sh should I pass it or, uh, or Actually, should I point I just, Yeah, I'd, I'd like to ask uh, Nate and Dergadas if, if they have anything to add as well. I was just going to add that Gideon is looking to start up the Writers Guild. And so if anybody is interested in participating in kind of these uh, deep dive think pieces for, for some of uh, the medium channel in particular and uh, just exploring and getting more involved in writing. Um, so if you're interested in that, just DM me and we'll, we'll get a meeting set up soon. So just wanted to add that. Yeah, I would just say that, you know, I would hope that we could align the sort of graphical narrative construction and the uh, narrative construction of words and the technical aspects of communication in a kind of aligned um, way, you know, that's uh, kind of my request. So uh, what that looks like exactly, I'm not entirely sure right now, but that would be my suggestion. Okay. And I think that the idea of the Writers Guild will also be somewhat of a mentorship as well. So uh, people who also want to develop skills as writers. Okay, is that it for comms? And then I'll pass to Griff because you're hopping up and down. <laughs> Enthusiasm gets me everything I want all the time, I swear. Uh, thanks, Tam. Uh, the, there is a topic of common swarm, I guess, or params, or I don't know, one of my working groups. Uh, there's actually a vote up to change the Goldilocks tributes. So I just want to make sure that you guys are aware. Remember, you can't change your vote. If you want to do some research, don't vote before you're confident. But the vote started on Tuesday, and the idea is uh, to Goldilocks in the in the parameters set that one Goldilocks. The plan was to adjust the parameters either 
4% and 2% every month, or 2% and 1% every two weeks. This is the first proposal for 2% and 1%. If you prefer 4% and 2%, you could probably vote no. Uh, but maybe say something about it in the forum. There was no engagement with the forum post. Uh, so, but before you vote, um, just know that you can't change your vote. So it's not a signal vote. It's like the real deal. And yeah, if you want to reduce the tributes, we can start. That's, that's the only update. Thanks, Tim. Cool, thanks. We did talk about it earlier, but uh, actually you added a very important note, which I wasn't aware of, which is that you can't change your vote. <laughs> so good, good that you jumped in. Um, Eduardo, do you want to give any update from Communitas? Um, no, I feel, I mean, the one of the bits I wanted was the Hatcher part of the top 10 Hatchers. Um, besides that, we are, the the guides are rolling in, we can see that on the amount of people who show up on the orientation call. Um, it's, they show up because they were invited by the guide. So they are working on that. We still need to articulate um, how to do follow-ups. And uh, this is something that uh, when I think in March, when Nate will have probably more bandwidth, we can tackle on um, on seeing how we can follow up after the orientation call, how we can follow up. We can identify certain people who are shown more interest or more engaged, and then we can sort of take them by the hand and sort of see where it can lead, lead that with the participation tracks that Nate had an idea about. And um, yes, please uh, vote y YGG. I don't know if you have voted, but vote please on the Communitas Working Group proposal funding. Um, and I'm saying this because there's a lot of people who had tokens, but they just, they're unaware and they don't pass around gardens because they have their own work stream. So if you do, please go and vote. I have our rich, uh, Angela was someone who brought this to like, hey, I'm voting in four other different places. I forgot, so please remind me. So I'm reminding everyone, <laughs> please vote for working group proposal, uh, mine or the other ones. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think I don't, besides, uh, ah, yes, so something else, sorry. TE Academy, we did a sync at the same way that, um, that we did. And uh, what we came up with was this idea of how we can actively uh, move forward into create a better flow in between uh, TEC and T Academy. Um, so we are working towards that. So if anyone have any idea or contribution how we can create a better relationship with T Academy, you are more than welcome to join. Uh, we will have in two weeks or a week and a half another sync with them um, to identify what actions we can take. One of the things that came out as a possibility is that uh, they will provide a much needed education aspect to the TEC Discord that we don't have at the moment. Uh, you, you all see it on the orientation call, how people were just wanting to know how do you implement the uh, augmenting bonding curve, something very simple maybe, but there, we have no one actually on the spot to be able to answer these questions. And um, and secondly, that someone from the TEC, some, someone like Shui or WGG who have very specialized knowledge that can help uh, T Academy can just go there and help uh, either the students, either the, the Discord, so we can do, foster this exchange of knowledge in between both communities. Uh, so yeah, Arnold, you mute yourself, YG. I don't know if you want to say something. Yeah, sign me up, Edu. I uh, definitely would love to be involved in that facilitation between TEC and the T Academy. And yes, I've had my... I got a vote. I've had my keys on a desktop computer that was in storage. I just, I do have it out of storage now. I got to put my computer together and start voting. Thanks for that reminder. <laughs> Thank you. That's it, Tim. Cool. And just two things I want to say. The first thing is that there was that whole list. Uh, there's a steward council about bringing the TEC and TEA communities closer together. And there was a whole list of things that uh, we came up with. I don't know if you uh, shared that in the in the call with them, but uh, maybe we can go back to that and build on top of that as well. And then, of course, also I just want to say, Gravity Working Group Funding Proposal is also basically those are the two working group funding proposals that we can pass soon. <laughs> so uh, please do share to uh, do vote on uh, them if you think that they uh, are reasonable and make sense. And if you don't think they're reasonable and make sense, please talk to Eduardo, myself, or Juanca about why that is. Um, and then maybe YGG, do you want to give an update yes. from Labs? Uh, kind of. I just want to do a really quick, like, one-minute plug in case there are some other people that still want to share. But uh, I've been working with 
Shebnam on this. Uh, so there's been some rumors going around that there's going to be a long tail financial TE boot camp. And so finally, we figured out what form that is going to take. So this is being sponsored by Unergy Crypto, which is trying to decentralize solar power. So they're trying to create funding mechanisms for people to join solar power uh, networks and grids and evenly sort of distribute energy. It's super cool. And so they want to sponsor a token engineering boot camp. So the whole boot camp is going to be themed on regenerative decentralized finance. And so students are going to build a whole sort of capstone project. We're still working on the logistics of this. We're not sure exactly the duration of the program, but we're going to be really refining the logistics uh, kind of within within a week from now. We should have some of the final details, and we do want to kick this off pretty soon, like uh, in February or early March. So just something, this is like an early sneak peek. There'll be more announcements coming, but we're going to have three roles of people who can join, community stewards, data wizards, and developers. And then the curriculum is here. So there's going to be an uh, intro to decentralized finance, intro to regenerative finance, solar as a service and securitization, DeFi protocol primitives, refi reuse of DeFi primitives, primitives, uh, the exercise black hole sun. I don't know what that is. Shebnam came up with it. We're going to go over smart contracts, smart pools, and explainers and tutorials. So this, I'm stoked on this and happy to share it. And, uh, more on labs uh, later, but um, yes, thanks. Super amazing, super exciting. I'll, I'll post this in the count the TEC uh, stewards agenda. Yeah, cool. Thanks. And we are almost at the top of the hour, but I wanted to ask Libya: Is there any news on rewards system that uh, other stewards should be aware of? We're having a call right now. If you want to join us for latest updates. Cool. What a great answer. Hold on, okay. Around, yeah. Um, that I am happy that um, we are talking about conflict management in the space. Yesterday we had an event, um, and Livia and I were uh, invited um, by Gitcoin. Also, that um, we had a small change in our coordination of the proposal. Uh, Morgan was going to help with the coordination, but. Um, um, uh, they said that um, they didn't have um, the bandwidth to commit with that, so um, I will be taking and um, continuing the coordination. And the other thing is that um, I really respect and, uh, and admire the mat maturity regarding conflict management that we have um, reached, that we are able to be civilized, acknowledge things, transform them, talk them, and um, also uh, move along. So yeah, I, I, I am really proud um, of, of this. And yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. And I think that's a great way for us to close. Thanks, Wanka. And thanks, everyone, for joining today. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.